Hi, I'm in parentheses, and I can't get out. This is, it's Valentine's Day, it's so I'm doing a Valentine's Day speed paint. And you might be wondering, why am I sketching over, uh, or why am I tracing over sketch that's already made? And it's because, well, let me explain. <laughs> so, when I'm sketching poses and like structural stuff, uh, traditionally, I do it a lot faster than I do it um, digitally. So that's what I did. I, tri I did the initial sketches on just regular sketch paper, uh, and I uh, took took pictures of those sketches and put it into Clip Studio so I can trace over them. Um, but I didn't have like any kind of way I can record like top down on the sketch paper me sketching that without like my big head getting in the way. So I wasn't able to record that part. But you may ask yourself, well, why did you have to get it done so quickly that you had to sketch it uh, traditionally in the first place? Um, so the thing is, when I realized this video was coming out on Valentine's Day, I was immediately crippled by the fact that I had nothing better to do on Valentine's Day than upload a YouTube video and do some homework. So I lay in my bed uh, doing nothing for an entire week, actually, uh, until I woke up this morning and I realized, oh, I need to post a video today. <laughs> and so I got up and I did the sketch and I was like, it's way quicker for me to do it uh, with just pencil and paper than on digital. <laughs> so I did that. Um, so. I'm literally recording this voiceover like minutes before it, this video is supposed to be posted. By the way, that's not the actual reason why um, I had to, had to get this done quickly. I actually had to get this done quickly because I spent the entire week recording the song, or not recording, but uh, making the song that came out yesterday, Conviction. And because normally when I post a song I have it pre-prepared or like I already made it I just need to re record the parts um, but not this week conviction was one of those songs that I didn't have complete beforehand I there was no guitar part for the chorus or for the bridge and there were no lyrics for the verses so I had to make all of that this week and then record it I literally recorded the verse, or the, I recorded the singing part, um, literally right before I had to uh, post the video. So, and now I'm doing the same thing for this video. I'm recording the voiceover right before I have to post it. So, luckily though, my friend Shane was there for me, uh, he, and he helped me quite a lot um, with the guitar part for the chorus and the bridge. Oh, I also didn't know how I was gonna end the song, but luckily I kind of just lucked out. Thank God, um, Jesus just put something in my brain and I, I did on guitar and it worked, so. But yeah, this is uh, this now. You get, which I'm now realizing this is gonna make me look like a really bad artist because the thing I'm best at is drawing poses and that's the one thing you don't get to see me do in this speed paint is draw the poses i'm literally doing all of the stuff i'm not good at so you know but oh well all right i don't know what to talk about um i literally yeah, I don't know what to do. I, I don't ve have a very interesting life, so it's not like I can share stories. I guess I should just talk about my difficulties of the drawing. Like, for example, how... I, I didn't know what I was doing at this part. I'm going to be honest. I didn't know what I was doing until, ju like, right now. <laughs> um, where I was like, oh, this kind of looks like a sweater, almost. <laughs> I was just making random lines until now. And I was like, oh, it kind of looks like something. So I'll just go with that. This whole, this whole video was just, or this whole art was just very difficult for me. Because one, I normally only draw like one sub subject per uh, art piece. 
And this art has three subjects. Um, and then I also came up, for whatever reason, I decided I'm going to come up with totally or original designs for this one instead of just reusing OCs that I already made. That would have been a lot easier if I did that. But for whatever reason, I was like, nah, I'm just going to make up new designs for some reason. So I did that, and it took longer than it should have. Oh, and another struggle I faced was figuring out what facial expressions to give them. This one I just kind of phoned it in, and I was like, haha, kissy face. Or, well, you'll see here in just a second, whenever I decide to put it in. I don't, I don't know when I do that. Um, there it is. It's the, it's the duck face, and I was like, haha, I'll do that. And uh, you can kind of see the m further I draw, I th the less detailed the clothing get gets. Like the girl on the left, none of these characters have names, by the way. But the girl on the left, very detailed clothing, pretty cool. And then the further you go, the less detailed it gets, <laughs> and it's it's very telling. Although, I kind of makes up for it because the one on the right has the most complicated pose, which was just happenstance, because you saw um, I drew all the poses separately, and then I put them together in a way I thought looked good. <laughs> and then the coloring process for this is also really bad. Actually, fun fact, the only reason I ever started doing digital art it was because coloring in digital w is easier. Um, and also, when it comes to traditional art, I never really found a medium that I liked to using for, like, coloring. Like, I tried pretty much everything. I tried colored pencils. I didn't really like that. I tried oil pastels. Didn't like that. Pens, markers, acrylic paint. Acrylic paint, honestly, probably the best one, but it's really a hassle, like, transferring your sketch O over from regular paper onto a canvas so I, I ended up giving up on that and then watercolor paint is my natural enemy I hate what that I don't know how people make good art using that like the people who make good art using watercolor it, that's incredible it's honestly so impressive I could not figure it out for the life of me but yeah I never really found any kind of coloring thing that I liked uh, when it comes to traditional so I just ended up switching to digital and I was like oh, I guess I'll figure it out this way oh this is me struggling to figure out what the background's gonna be I actually had to cut out a lot of this because it was me it was a lot of flashing colors and I didn't want to give any I didn't want there to be any potential risk for people with epilepsy or who are photosensitive in any way um, so I cut out a lot of that. It was like almost 30 minutes of me just trying out different colors for the background. And then I was like, you know what? It's Valentine's Day. Hearts. That makes sense. So this is that. This is me copy pasting a bunch of hearts I drew. Wow. Not super happy with the way this came out. I kind of rushed it. I'll probably, I'll probably amend the piece later, do something different. But this is pretty much the end of the video. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I very highly encourage you to read your Bible if you want to survive. I also encourage you to go watch some of my other videos. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay happy.